Hey guys, it's Maze Man 112 bringing you guys another Call of Duty commentary on the map raid, playing some capture the flag. This is the league play for me. The league play at for Black Ops 2 is the last glimmer of hope that keeps me playing this game. And um, you know, I don't want to sound like someone who's who's harsh on the game. I, I enjoy the game, but as a game's lifespan kind of evolves, especially one where they tweak it and make a lot of adjustments like they do in Black Ops 2, it, it just kind of gets to a, a tipping point where one, you either have people running the same guns, as you can see right here. This is League Play, so everyone really runs an SMC, uh, an M8, but you see a very small point of guns, and also you see a lot of people who, you know, they don't take the game as seriously. They're uh, spins, not wins, or trying to do trick shots. I, I was just tired of getting into multiple lobbies where you'd have three or four people on the other team who were constantly sniping and not playing the objective. It drives me crazy. It really does. And that's why I'm pretty excited about Ghost. I know they have a couple new game modes that are really designed to stop people from camping and to kind of keep that pace up. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. But that's not what I wanted to go ahead and talk about today. What I wanted to go ahead and talk about today was something that I, I'm well aware is not going to affect everybody out there. But I feel like it's going to affect a, a large minority of the population or the gaming community that's out there because a lot of us out there are, are fellow content creators. I feel like the community now has almost reached that uh, that tipping point where you know half the community are people who are also out there trying to record stuff and put out some kind of you know feedback for you guys and um, there's a lot of question marks coming out with the new consoles and I'm not too sure what to do about it and a lot of people aren't too sure whether or not they should be investing money in, in certain types of equipment. Now we have spent money on capture devices, headphones, uh, microphones, any of that other kind of stuff, software. You spend a lot of money to try to go ahead and create content for you guys. And just headsets alone. They have they have announced that they're going to be using an adapter for the headsets that will allow you know the current headsets to be used on the new consoles. And this is a huge, huge relief to a lot of people because headsets, if you're going to go out and get those top tier headsets, you're going to spend two to $300 easily. And um, to me... I love my Astros. Um, it's nice because they do have a little bit of a better quality mic. So if you wanted to, you can also do your recording with those. Uh, but to me, the the sound quality in them is just is just phenomenal. And it'd be I'd be really pissed off if I could not use them in the new console because Microsoft wanted to make a little bit of extra money by selling their own headsets or you know requiring you know kind of pulling the Apple thing with the Apple phone 5 or whatever now has a different USB plug on the bottom so you have to buy an adapter but that that's okay with me at least I don't have to go buy a new, new headset now the other big thing for a lot of us is your capture device the big elephant in the room that nobody's really talking about now hodgepodge has kind of came out and said that their device will work on the new generation of consoles and at first i kind of thought well a lot of the hodgepodges now or a lot of the hd pvrs they only work with component when it comes to the playstation 3 because of the hdcp which is just a um, you know it's copyright protection and you can only use it in components so you're not getting a true 1080 now, I guess this is not going to be the case now because the HodgePodge 2, I think is below it, I believe that's the name of it, um, is an HDMI only device. So they're saying it's going to work with that. Now, I'm hoping that with the technology now, they're able to go ahead and decipher, you know, what is gameplay, what can be recorded versus, you know, recording Netflix and everything like that. I'm hoping they're able to do that. Now, Sony was very innovative. You know, they're a forerunner right out in the lead of the pack when it came to this whole copyright protection and, and stopping the pirating. And Sony's is slowly right behind them. So I'm kind of interested to see what they do. Now, the big question to me is because I feel like both companies now have a... A different incentive than we've ever seen before because both of them are offering a native recording device in there now it's very primitive both of them on the PlayStation 4 you're going to be able to record for 15 minutes um, that's not very long if you ask me and on the Xbox one they're saying it's only five minutes I'm wondering if it's going to be five minutes if you don't have Xbox Live Gold and maybe a little bit longer if you do but, but both ways 15 minutes 20 minutes it doesn't really matter it's, it's just not long enough to record especially if you're doing let's plays or you're doing playthroughs or walkthroughs or anything like that it's just it's not it's not long enough and not only that I'm wondering what kind of editing software they're gonna have let me know what you guys' concerns are if you guys are a little bit afraid about what the new consoles are gonna have in store for us make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section down below make sure you guys hit that like button 
hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And it seemed like Spotlight bitches, make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. It's when I talk about my first ever nuclear. Check it out. Based on your your your, your KP. And it's just not a good indicator of how good of or how high of a quality of player you are.